song was so beautiful. I have like goosebumps right now because I truly did it. Like it spoke to me, right? I I, I truly did it my way. Um, welcome back to another another episode of DJ Gets Real. We did it, chat. We won. Clap it up for ourselves. We took the W. All right. <clears throat> Last night was uh, totally unexpected. I received a DM from someone be like, yo, Xylee's talking about Edwin. So, yeah, we we made it. We did it. <laughs> this is truly all I wanted. All I wanted was, you know, a public addressment. Yes, she did have a comment, a pinned comment. Um, but, you know, as a commentary channel... That talks about like other people, especially with the uh, rigorous tongue Xyla gets real has. Um, I feel like you know saying I got too personal with the story was not like it was not like a pug uh, like a public um, denouncement. It I didn't really uh, get anything from that, and um, you know it's a facto. She finally addressed it. So we're just gonna go over it, chat. Um, yeah, Xylee got too personal, too real. So <laughs> let's just play it. Um, wow. <laughs> so Xylee gets real. All right. So let me see if I. Okay. Let me do this. Let's go, chat. We here. We made it. Let me do this. All right. Let's just play it. Are we doing good? So, look. Um, The more I think about it. Hold on. I'm going to. I'm going to change the title. The more I think about it, the more I don't think it's appropriate that I talk about. Andrew Tate on this so there's we're just gonna keep it it's gonna be it's not gonna be a long live um I've been wanting to say this stuff for months and I haven't um hell um you know even some people thought I shouldn't do this now but I'm going to do it um thank god Thank God Xylee took the good option, all right? All those people is like, oh, don't talk about it. You already did whatever. Those people can eat fucking crow. They can eat my dick, all right? I won. Me. I'm taking a victory lap, okay, you motherfuckers that say, oh, Xylee didn't do this. Xylee didn't do that. Stop, 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 stop. I won. All right, I, I'm going too far, but, you know. That's just a little theatrics, okay? I got I gotta put that in there. Yeah, so uh put a one in the chat if you are ready to begin. I'm ready to begin. Put a one in chat if you're ready. Alright. Alright, so, oh, wait, oh, I forgot my screen was all messed up from our murder mystery. Hold on. Sorry, guys. It's okay, Xylee. It's messed up from that murder mystery that we had on my channel. Oh, sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good enough. Fuck it. Okay, so. On February 27th of this year, um, I did a live stream, and I called it, Edwin is a Liar McLiarson. Terrible. And. Bad stream, awful. I feel like this live stream is like the bane of my existence. Interesting, chat. Um, as Skip put it, actually, uh, Skip and I, because I told her, I said, I'm probably going to end up doing the live stream. 
And as she told me, and, and she was right, I came in too hot. True. Okay, so this is... Let me describe how the tone of the stream felt like. She was like, okay. We're going to talk about Repzilla, right? And Repzilla knows some things that I know because I got in a call with Babs and Eva. Ba uh, Repzilla knows what I know. So guess what? Uh, Repzilla, you reported on lesser things, right? So it, that, was, that was like the, the tone, like the setting point of the live stream. And then it just goes into a crescendo where she like tries to get him on. He gets on the live stream. And then he was like, Rep, what, Repso, what do you think what happened? What do you think what happened? So it was like a crescendo of like shit, you know? It's like, we're going to start off very hot and we're only just going to go guns bla blazing, right? So yeah, I, I would say... Uh, Xylee came in too hot. She got as uh uh, what was it? Babs described it. I think she said Xylee uh, got uh, too emotional or something like that, or too passionate. That's the word. She was too passionate about the story because she's seen the proof, right? That um, we're gonna talk about later, chat. In that live stream, way way too fucking hot. True. And. Because I came in too hot, and I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. Because Matt and I were supposed to do, I can't remember what the subject was. I think it was about lav, but Matt and I were supposed to go live about something completely different. And I switched it up last minute, and he didn't even know. Ah, uh, the good old bait and, and I came switch. In way the, too hot. The good old bait and switch. We're gonna talk about fucking other bullshit, but nah. We're going to talk about the real story that's going on. Yeah. So, so she meant she was ill-prepared. Uh, w, all right. I, and I wasn't prepared. And um, I didn't communicate well at all. By no means did I communicate well what I was trying to say. I mean, that could be said. Um, I guess, like, here she's implying that, like, um, her intention wasn't what she said. Her words, like, her words were totally different than what she meant. But, um, I'm, like, iffy on this, because, like, I hate the people who are like, Oh, Xylee said what Nick said, but just use worse words. No, that's not what happened. Nick didn't say, I have information that... Uh, I believe Repzilla and Edwin reported on worse things. I believe it's SA. I believe it's assault. I believe it's this. But she's not saying that. That's always the, the cope, right? It's like, oh, Babs isn't saying it, but I am, right? Or uh, So she's not saying it, so I'm not, right? That That's like the, the example everyone uses to defend this live stream, right? But, you know, I always win, chat. I always win. And, uh, yeah, I regret it. W. W and, regret. Uh, so we did the live stream. And uh, the people the people who know me knew what I was trying to say. But I have to admit, I can understand where the people who don't know me didn't take it that way. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, um... I wouldn't say this is a non-apology because, like, she she is saying she does get why someone like myself would, you know, be very critical of the stream and take it, I guess, not her intention. But, like, again, I can't read Xylee's mind. I can't be like, oh, Xylee actually meant this when she said she knew the whole story, right? And that, like, you know, she knew the whole story and then... uh you know, there's other details out there that she has that she doesn't have permission to say. Like, I can't read her mind, right? So, that sounds like a cope. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, again, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt because she is talking about this, right? But she wasn't doing it months prior, even though she said she wanted to do it. So, um, you know, good on her for speaking on it. I, I, I truly appreciate it. Okay, I can absolutely 100% get it. 100%. So, 
after the live stream, I private it. I even said after the live stream, which I forgot to get the fucking timestamp for. Ill prepared. This is an ill prepared streamer. She doesn't. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would always get the receipts and timestamps of you know. I'm kind of flexing on her right now, but. But I even said at the live stream, I had knew I had fucked up by the end of that live stream. I knew I had fucked up by the end of it, and I said I was gonna private it. And as we all know what happened on Twitter, you know, I was getting called out for private it and stuff like that. Um, I ended up, well, okay, let me, let me, let me say something too. I, I, oh, this part is the most, like, important part of the stream right here. Let, let Ziley spit real quick. I gotta, I gotta let y'all in on something, because people had a problem with my thumbnail. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> uh, don't pay attention to this thumbnail on the stream, but, uh, oops. Oops. Okay. This is a place ho this is a placeholder thumbnail that I use when I don't have a thumbnail for the subject of the night. Because remember, I switched things up last minute and I didn't even have a thumbnail for that one. So it was always gonna be this thumbnail. Um You can look down my channel and I use that doing stuff thumbnail like like, all over the place. You know, doing stuff, doing stuff. It's the same one. And this, okay, that's, this, that's the stream that I screwed up on. I used it, what, I think up to seven months before that live stream? Yeah, seven months. That thumbnail had nothing to do with the fact that I was talking about Edwin. All right, this isn't the most important part of the live stream. Yes, this thumbnail had nothing to do with Edwin. But come on, chat. It's fucking funny. <laughs> like, um... <laughs> um, you know, I made fun of this thumbnail. Uh, Salvo made fun of this thumbnail. Come on. It's fucking funny. This thumbnail is hilarious. Like, I don't care. Like, it's not, like, this big point of, like, I'll oh, use this thumbnail for, like, allegations. How could you? I I'm more upset about like the live stream itself than the thumbnail but the thumbnail is just pretty fucking funny <laughs> doing stuff and we got like a jumping cat a uh, fucking unicorn throwing up a fucking cat asshole a unicorn tapping it's fucking hilarious it's fucking funny um <laughs> and like i've been using it on my streams because it, it's fucking hilarious like i don't think it's that well made oh not excuse me i think it's pretty well done Honestly, um, I think, you know, it, <laughs> it's like the four horsemen and then the black hat is watching down here doing stuff. Uh, what what stuff is she cooking up? I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's just funny. Okay. Um, I made a new one. I don't use this one anymore. Um. But I just want to get that straight. Yeah, I heard whisperings that, like, she changed the thumbnail because of me. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. But, um, you know, let me just spread that around real quick. Um, but no. Um, <laughs> it, I, I just think it's, it's a funny thumbnail. Like, it, it's not that big. That thumbnail had nothing to do with the fact that I was talking about Edwin. That is a placeholder thumbnail I use. Um... Until I make a new one. And this live stream was so cursed. I didn't want to go back to it. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. So. I just I just wanted to make that clear. Um. Because. Yeah. So That was the most important part of the stream by the way. It was the thumbnail of doing stuff with unicorn stabbing. Cat asshole, unicorn throwing up, cat jumping, doing stuff. She sure was doing stuff, am I right? Oh, I ended up in a call with Edwin and Salvo. Okay? Yep. And, um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. With the few times that Edwin was in his stream, 
And, I mean, Salvo in the chat yesterday was doing it. And Salvo in his streams, they keep bringing up the phone call like it's a threat to me. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Salvo nor Edwin has lied at all about that call. Okay, so what she's saying here is that, like, uh, Edwin and Salvo have this, like, private call that she, Matt Pitt, Salvo, and Edwin had, right? And um, Siley apologizes to both of them, right, in private. Um, now, Edwin and Salvo have this call that, that they have, and Xylee's opinion is that they have the stream, like, dangling over it, like, I guess as, like, a threat. Um, I don't know if that's accurate. Like, I guess I have to look into it. I mean, whew. I guess saying you have a live stream that you met fault, um, I don't know if that's, like, the threat of it. But, like, yeah, they do have a stream, and they have been talking about it. And they haven't released it full. Um, I feel like this video was a bit of a pity party. Um, I, gu I guess where I can see where you're coming from. But, like, again, the fact that she's addressing it saying, like, she did a bad is, like, that's, like, a million times better than before, right? Um, I view Xylee in a much higher regard now than I did, you know, months ago, right? Did I apologize multiple times for how I ran that live stream? Thousand percent. I was very apologetic. Because I honestly felt bad for how I ran it. I literally felt bad for it. Y'all know I can't stand Salvo. I still felt bad for how I ran it. Edwin has mentioned before in other live streams on how I got nostalgic with him. I did. I even got, um, I even got emotional with him. I almost cried. Or I may have cried. I know getting emotional. Because I told him I missed the old Edwin. I missed the old one, Edwin. <laughs> I missed the old Kanye. I, I don't know. That was pretty funny. I said that on the fucking Colton stream last night. And I missed the Edwin that was there and let me come up on his street. Xylee isn't that bad, just a bit emotionally involved. Um, I mean, uh, I guess prior to this stream, I would say she was that bad. But, like, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad she can own up to it at least a little bit, right? Um, emotionally involved, yes. One million percent. No reason to get emotionally involved, whatever. Um, but, you know, if she did, you know, I think there was, like, steps to, like, you know, for this to go away, right? And I don't think she took those steps, right? Um, I think she, if she responded perfectly and just said, oh, I'm sorry to Edwin and Salvo for how the stream went, like, in that, like, pinned comment even, or she said it in a live stream or whatever, I wish she went that route because, like, I don't think we would be here today. I don't think we would have this live stream where she feels, like, um, pressured into doing it or whatever because of the stream being, quote-unquote, hold, hold over her head or whatever. Like, I'm not saying that's the case, but that's, that's how she's expressing it, right? So, I think if she took those steps to say, hey, I messed up and I'm sorry I messed up to... Edwin and Salvo, instead of saying she got quote unquote too personal with the story, I think those steps would have been better for her now, right? Yeah, she might have messed up, but she did take accountability. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is Zyla Gets Real, a commentary channel that talks about John Swan, that talks about fucking Andrew Tate and shit like that, you know? Like John Swan lying, John Swan fucking making a fake apology, right? So. I'm just saying, you're a commentary channel, Zyli, or drama channel, T channel, whatever, right? If you're going to dish it, you have to take it. And if you feel bad about something and you just express it in your pinned comment that you got too personal, I feel like you could have done bigger steps to, you know, to uh, 
satisfy Edwin and Salvo of like, oh, okay, Xylee did mess up, but she has publicly apologized about this, right? I think that would that would have been a much better route than what happened, okay? Um, that's just my opinion, okay? I know people are like, oh, Xylee did nothing wrong. She's already dressed it up. I just feel like she could have done it better. And if she did it better, then we wouldn't be in this position today, right? And it was because of Edwin that I hit over 5K because he would promote me. I would never take that back from him. Never. Never. I would never do that. Because I would be flat out lying if I did that. And, um... And I was very, like, again, I was very apologetic with them. You know? Um, as far as I know, the private call, she was apologetic. Like, I've heard testimony from Salvo and Edwin, and they seem to both agree that Xylee was, Xylee was real in the phone call, right? And I told him... Okay, so he had that live stream, which is now members only. As you can see, it was not members only, as I was literally recording it yeah i played this clip before like they talked about this on the milltown stream where they talked about this highly stream that people said that uh ed well not edwin um well edwin played the recording of some of the call and xylee says she's not going to talk about this situation further now that's fine right but like um like the situation involving uh salvo uh babs and edwin right the car ride um and anything surrounding it like the threesome and whatever um, I think if she did, like, a version of the stream, like, around that time, I think that would have been, like, again, like, I wouldn't be talking about this in fucking July, almost August, where I'm, like, the eve of July, July 31st, right? Um, Edwin's so pink there, yeah, that, yeah, that's kind of tripping me out. His fucking skin tone is as pink as his shirt and pink as his hair, but, um... <laughs> Um, but anyways, if she took those steps, like, way, way before, like, the, her stream happened in February, like, if she did it in, like, March, April, around that time, again, I, I don't think I would be talking about Xylee now, right, at all. I don't think my video will e even be made that I made the fucking commentary audit, right? I made that video because people say Xylee did nothing wrong. Um, like your fucking, um, your chatters that say, oh, Xylee and Nick said the same points. Oh, uh, your fucking, um, D Maxes, your fucking, like, well, Peepaw said, uh, he understands why Xylee, like, said those things, right? Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, uh, she, like, kind of gets, like, a pass for it, right? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fully, um, I fully endorse self growth and like self improvement. So if she apologized like then, I wouldn't have been I would have been so critical of her now. But she's a commentary channel, like criticizing people who's done something wrong and has the hasn't like addressed it um I would say coherently, right? So <laughs> I think my criticisms are valid. Uh <laughs> Because I had just got off my live stream. It was a Pearly Things live stream. All right. So I didn't get the whole thing. I only got 35 minutes of that live stream. But he ended up playing part of the call. Which tells you why I haven't been talking about it. And I'm going to play it for you here. Okay. The time. Hopefully you guys can hear this. I mishandled that live stream. I True. mishandled uh, the Babs situation. True. W, and um, I apologize for that. W. I shouldn't have done it. That's not w. to do that. And uh, because of that, I'm not going to speak on that situation anymore. So. Very interesting to see what people will say. Oh, I'm going to catch hell. You know what? Cat, cat's up? What? I said I'm going to cat tail probably. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, thank you for the forty nine ninety nine Acid Angels. I appreciate it. Um, you heard me say. <laughs> uh, yeah, chat. Give me two fucking five hundred subs. I want this fucking cat emoji so we can do cat seven. You see this chat? You see these fucking cat sevens right here? I want that shit. Okay. I just need 500 subs and watch hours. Get me to that. I want to have cat sevens in my chat, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, the echo thing, that was uh, Edwin's audio, um, not mine. Because I messed up in that live stream so much. Cat seven. I will never speak about that situation with those three ever again. And I have held my word. And I'm going to continue to hold my word. And do you know why I'm going to hold my word? Because I'm because real. I don't feel like I have the range to talk about it anymore for the way I carried that live stream. This is seriously a W, right? Like, if she said, like, I have, like, I apologize. I, like, I fucked up on the live stream and I feel like I don't have agency to talk about it more in public. I feel like that's a W, right? Um, again, she could have done this earlier, but I'm just glad she did it now, right? I have to take accountability for how I did in that live stream. True. You know, going back to her thumbnails, right? She had, like, Edwin, on, like, before her uh, Edwin is a Liar, Mick Lyerson stream. She had Edwin, like, as the main focus of the thumbnail with the blackboard that said accountability behind it. I'm glad she's finally, you know, taking action against the live stream. And I don't feel like I have the range to even talk about it anymore. W. I feel like I don't have the place to talk about it anymore. Because of how I acted in that live stream. True. And I'm going to be very honest with you. I left that call because Salvo had left earlier and then it was me, Matt, and Edwin. And then Matt left because we were in that call. God knows how long we were in that fucking call. It was it was so exhausting that night. And then me and and then it was just me and Edwin. And I think that's when I got emotional with Edwin and when it was just me and him. I meant every word I said in that call, Edwin. Everything I said to you, I meant I meant every word. And I'm going to continue not to talk about that situation. Okay. I feel like that right got... I feel like that right got taken away from me, from me. because um, By me. Because of how I acted in that live stream. So... And then... And, and then after the call, I thought we straightened everything out in the call. I uh, show us the call, Zylie. Zylie doesn't have the call. It's uh, recorded by Salvo and Edwin. Um, I really did. Like, I literally thought everything was straightened out. And he knew I was going to make a statement. And it's what's funny is also in that call, I kept telling them that I wouldn't unprivate the video. No, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to... I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vine. I ain't gonna do it. Do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vine. I ain't gonna and do I it. I ended up. I ended up in a call with Keemstar. I had to. Co -co -co Keemstar. Co -co 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 Keemstar. All right, so Keemstar, I talked about this on one of my live streams. I think it was the live stream after I made my Xylee video, the commentary audit. Uh, Keemstar went on Augie's stream and said, hey, I talked to Xylee after she talked to uh, fucking uh, Edwin and Savo and Matt Pitt. Um, and Keemstar said, oh, I don't, I don't think Xylee did anything wrong in that stream. I think she was just, uh, you know, Keemstar did not think Xylee did anything wrong, so, like, I think, um, her actions led to the result of, like, what happened. I'm not saying, like, he manipulated Xylee, because, as Xylee would say, Xylee's a grown-ass woman who, with, you know, grown-ass decisions, but I think because of her talk with Keem, she took the approach she did, and I don't think that's, um, I don't think it was the right approach. 
to have the dreaded Daddy Keemstar talk. The dreaded da a Daddy Keemstar talk. And he brought up a really good point with me. And, like, don't, don't run. Don't run. So, I was thinking, you know what? I always sit here on my platform and, and preach to people that you got to hold yourself accountable. True. Right? W. Wiley and Chet. I unprivated it, made it public again. And. And I made. Well, I unprivated it, made it public again. And I made, uh, hold on. I did the wrong ones. Hold on. I'll put this out of order. I made, uh, three posts. And I made, it's the same post except for the ones on YouTube. Doesn't say fuck it, have at it. But what I said was mistakes I've made in my stream, going too hard on Repzilla. Oh, the response. Here we go. I'm rubbing my hands together. You hear that, Chet? Here's my hands rubbing together. She's finally addressing the, the statement she made. How I treated beavers and getting too personal with the story about Babs and Edwin. I never accused anyone of rape. Babs never even called the, doesn't even call the incident in car sexual assault. I alluded to more detail. Of this is interesting, Chet. Listen. Perk your ears up because this is the most interesting part of the stream. We're going to get a question answered. We're all dying to know what was the extra information. Oh, that's another thing, too. Um, the details that I alluded to, everything is out now. I do not. Did you guys hear that, chat? The extra details that happened, like the, uh, um, the fine details of the story that she was given to by Babs is out there publicly. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, now, again, I, I can speculate what it is. I don't know what it is. I, I, I thought about it, like, I thought it was like the call Ico leaked, but uh, uh, Edwin in his video had like a clip that said, like, Xylee, um said, uh, Babs tried to show her like a call, but it didn't work. Right? She said that in the private call. So that's interesting. So I guess she didn't know everything. But, um, but yeah, like I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what what the secret duper uh, information was. Like I don't know. But um, yeah, it's out there, chat. At least we don't know Xylee isn't hiding the information anymore. Like, it's out there. It's on the table chat. Me, the greatest detective alive in commentary, will find <laughs> this, okay? I'll find it, all right? But, um, yeah, it's out there, chat. I have any extra details. Everything was out now. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, yes, all those details are out now. Um, and not by me. From Babs, but did not say them because I have, because I did not. All right, so it came from Babs, okay, so. All right. I have exclusive permission from her. The hunt begins. <laughs> I did say that the story of Babs sounds like S.A. I never said it was rape. Again, Babs has never called it that either. Um, I'll read Super Chats in a second when this is over. Um either essay or rape so i'm gonna unprivate the stream fuck it have at it again i never accused salvo or edwin of rape and if people think i alluded to it then i don't know what to tell you i never and would never accuse them of that and i was in that call um i guess like this is like a technicality uh like she said uh Repzilla and edwin um have reported on less things um the mr me too's than what um reportedly edwin and salvo did so Again, alluded to rape, or I shouldn't have said that, but alluded to like our things, like our our words. I don't know, uh, you know, but you know, I guess the point is it doesn't matter. She she said like the next worst thing, so like I don't care if she didn't use the R word or not, right? But like it was still bad. It's, it's still bad, bro. 
call with them. I was absolutely incredibly sorry on how I ran that live stream. Okay, again, I I hate to like be the one to pick this up like this response apart, but like if I was incredibly sorry about something, um, I accused all you people in chat of being terrible things, and then. My public statement about you, chat, is that of, like, other shit I did, like, oh, I treated beavers terribly, uh, I went too hard on Repzilla, but you, chat, I went too personal with the story, and not say, like, I'm sorry to, you know, you guys for misrepres- misrep- fuck, I can't speak, uh, for, um, fucking up on the live stream, right? She didn't say that, she said got too personal now edwin before i put out my statement edwin had put out his statement and i meant to do this one first i even have it on this list and i i fucked up god damn it um edwin put out this tweet the explanation why i avoided dressing babs uh last night a youtuber spearheaded a live stream of 500 plus people wrongfully depicting me as a sexual abuser although she made her stream private shortly after ending it and this was before i unprivated it this was before my um unprivated and before my um before my post um just that, and that there was no little little to no pushback which is not true uh i got pushback while while she was live, despite the entire accusation being not only vague, but entirely false. Okay, yeah, during... Okay, so she corrects herself here. Like, um, no pushback during the live. I, I kind of agree with Edwin assessment. I don't think there was anyone in chat, like, like pushing back against the stream. It, was ha it happened on Twitter afterwards, right? It didn't happen within the stream itself. Like, I have an extension that can go 16 times speed. We can just look at the chat and see if there's any uh, Xyli haters, um, but um, I don't really want to do that. But, um, you know, you can look for yourself, guys. Um, trust but verify. In the live, I don't really, yeah. Um, I understand there were valid criticisms to place against me, and I could even be argued that my general response thus far has been poor. However, this should not allow for serious accusations to go uncontested. I originally decided not to speak about this woman because she intimidated me into silence back in December and has been hell-bent on destroying me as a person as well as my career ever since. She has definitely succeeded in both avenues to some degree, and while I hoped that ignoring her would make her go away, she has continued to appear in people's live chats over the past two months as well as fabricated stories about me. Uh, made me out to be what Xylee alluded to in her stream last night. Xylee, okay, this is an important part right here. Xylee has apologized to me in private afterwards. Furthermore, a big reason why I did not want to confront anything to do with her is because, quite frankly, it's humiliating to expose how she treated me, especially given the way everyone twists and berates me at every turn. I ultimately decided to just endure hate and let people say what they want because I figured it might be better than speaking on how things actually went down than to have nobody believe me. It becomes apparent that she All right, I'm going to fast forward this. Me in private afterwards. Don't y'all think if I didn't apologize, I would have blasted that? I said this on Colton's stream. This is like um, like a Dora the Explorer episode. It's like, oh, chat, uh, do you think this would have happened? Yes, Xylee, yes. Um, no, again, in my opinion, she could have just been like, she could have like screenshotted this uh, you know, this statement from Edwin, you know, cropped it out until the final uh, um the final sentence of Xylee has apologized to me in private afterwards. She could have been like, oh yeah, this is true, but I want to move on, right? I, I think that could have, you know, been more clear than say, oh, because I didn't deny it, it's true, right? Oh, don't you think my personality, I would have like fact-checked him if it was false? I'm kind of iffy on that. If it's true, you can just say it's true. And I want to move on with the situation, right? I feel like that's more uh, reasonable. That's more uh, getting your point across than saying, I'm not saying anything and expecting people to know it's true because you didn't say anything about it, right? 
I don't think that works. Guys, I would have blasted him for fucking lying about me. I would have. I absolutely would have. I literally left that call thinking that everything was settled. Yes, Salvo still hates me. I don't care. I, 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 I could care less, okay? But I thought everything between Edwin and I was squ squared. And then I thought, if I made these three statements and I put that video back public again, that'll show good grace towards Edwin that I am holding myself accountable. Again, I don't know if, like... I could ask Edwin, but um, I don't know um, what. I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't like the statement she put out. Like, I can go through his live streams prior about Siley, right? But, um, yeah, like, I think there's an issue with her statement. Like, the same statement she's made those three times. I got too personal with the story. Is not. I don't think that's accountability. That's. I feel like. Again, that's just my opinion, but like I feel like I'm not crazy here. I don't I don't feel like saying you got too personal with the story is it's not like addressing what you did wrong. Like that's that's just me, but I think I think a lot of a lot of my chat agrees, but I'm not sure about Xylee's chat, of course. I thought that's what I was doing by doing that. And again, she could have took more steps to, like, you know, I guess, be more apologetic, right? I don't know. If, if I said something on stream about Sylee, let's just use her as the example, and it was completely fucking wrong, right? I, I say Sylee did something terrible. And I take down the stream because I knew I fucked up, but then... People are on chat. It's like, oh, you criticize Xylee for lying, so you need a, you know, it, it, it flips on its head, right? I would be like, yes, I, 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 I fucked up. Like, I fucked up about my, uh, about this topic with Xylee, and I apologize. I would not say I got too personal with the story. That's something I wouldn't do. That's just how I would do it. But like, again. I don't know. And 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 now I'm I'm hearing that they want public apologies now. I apologize to you till my face turned blue and I meant every And I don't think I don't think Edwin and Salvo disagree with that. Like I, I've heard them on streams that Xylee felt apologetic like in the private call. Um I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue was like I guess Xylee's a commentary channel and Xylee has like criticized others, right? You know, Xylee like I read her fucking YouTube bio, it's like her getting real or whatever, right? Facts and opinions or, like, opinions and whatever, right? If you want to be that person, if you want to be, if you want to give your opinion, you got to own up to your mistakes, like, I would say properly. Like, everyone who has made mistakes, um, people just want, like, you know, a statement and, or a good statement, right? People can criticize like you know the fucking the girl who was like dancing because she was accused of essay like that's not <laughs> that's not fucking that's not an appropriate response and like that it'll be weird for her to be like oh yeah i responded here but when i danced about you know how when i essayed someone you know that <laughs> or allegedly essay someone you know like again i just wish it was a better response word that I said when I apologized to you. Well, she did have it private, uh, Lady Nerd Artist, and her and to be fair to Xylee. But the issue is she uh she got in a call with Kim, she said uh, he said don't run from it, so she uh 
made it public and then issued the statement. And again, I have, I have issue with the statement, right? But I'm going to be honest. The people who actually need a public apology that I haven't, I've never apologized to y'all. I never, I, I apologize to everybody else, but I never apologize to y'all. Thank you for the apologies, Hailey. Um, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> I forgive her. I never apologize to my viewers and the people who support this channel. I never did it, and I feel bad. But uh, unironically, it is a big W that she's like addressing it. Okay. okay. I don't want to sound sarcastic or whatever. I'm sorry that y'all had to see me like that in that live stream. I am very sorry that y'all had to see me like that. And the only thing that I can tell you is, and if you haven't noticed, I'm doing my damnedest not to repeat that same thing. I said this before, but yeah, I do I do believe in like self-improvement, and I feel like uh, Zyla can learn from a mistake and, and grow from it, right? Um, hopefully she doesn't, she's not doomed to repeat it, right? Um, that's all I got to say about that. Um... The one example I have is like when we were talking about Colleen Ballinger and, and Adam McIntyre and I was talking about her grooming, right? I pulled out definitions and I made damn sure y'all knew exactly what I meant. I didn't want anybody who was watching me leave with a different concept than what I was saying because I desperately don't want, I desperately don't want what happened in that live stream to happen again. And you know, I appreciate that if she takes if she takes the mistake she made and improves on it. You know, we're all not perfect human beings. Then I I that's a wily moment. W Ziley. So. And honestly, you know. I've never called for Edwin to be, um, what do you call it, uh, deplatformed or anything like that. Um, certainly didn't expect eight months for a video. It's just, it, it, it's been bothering me that y'all been holding that call over my head. Like, it embarrassed me that... What's in your head? Come on, chat. In your head. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Hey, hey. What's in your head? In Xylee's head. Xylee, Xylee, Xylee. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Y'all said I apologized. I'm a grown-ass woman. I don't see there's a problem with apologizing. I absolutely apologize to y'all. And when I tell you that Salvo and him hasn't lied so far about that call, they haven't. Even when Edwin keeps saying about how I was emotional with him. Yeah, I did get emotional with him. I did get sentimental with him. I did because I fucking missed that Edwin. Miss the old Edwin. So the only thing I can say to Edwin and Salvo, drop the call. Don't edit it. Don't make it pretty. Don't do nothing. Just. I, I agree. And drop the call. Um, or at least, you know, share it to me, of course. You know. Hey, ha, ha. Drop the call. Drop it. Just drop it. Stop dangling it. Drop it. I've already admitted where I was wrong. I've already taken accountability for where I was wrong. I already apologized to you in private where I was wrong. Drop the call. Just drop it. Drop the call.
Wow, there's a lot of dead air here. I know where I did wrong. I hate that that fucking video- I hate that that live stream is on my channel. And I know one day it's gonna get used against me, probably. Oh, probably? Uh, might be a little too late, Siley. <laughs> Oops. But I mean, those are the breaks, right? I fucked up. Yeah, you know, again, people fuck up, but again, you can learn from it and grow from it, whatever, right? Just, you know, learn from your mistakes. And I know I fucked up. And, I, and, and I've been working ever since not to fuck up like that again. So. <sighs> Just drop the call, guys. You know. Salvo, you want to do your evil master plan? Drop the call. Evil master plan. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> We're all scheming behind the scenes, rubbing our hands together. Yes. The Xylee call will be hold of <laughs> Xylee said. Uh, I don't know. Again, I don't know if Edwin and Salvo have been doing that. Or, like, I guess threatening her with the call, but... I guess I'll have to look more more in depth, all right? And if you don't drop it, you don't drop it. I don't care either way. I'm going to be honest. I really don't care either way. Meow. Because I know what I did. And I know that... I know that I... Uh, I apologize to y'all. I'm not, that doesn't hurt me for y'all to say that because I can sit right here and say, yeah, I did. So. I, I don't know why this just bothered me now, but I just realized I hear like a ticking sound, like a clock, like, like, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but like, tell me if you guys can hear it. Like, there's like a clock in Xylee's audio. For y'all to say that, because I can sit right here and say, yeah, I did. Like, right there. Like, where there's that are. Do you guys hear the ticking? So. Um. But, yeah. I'm not, um. I'm not touching the whole Babs. Edwin Salvo situation. I, I'm not touching it with a 10 foot pole. Um, I won't be, uh, I won't be discussing it with other people on their streams. What's the difference be between what Xylee and Nick said? Okay, so, so let me go through this again. Xylee said, I have extra, like, I have extra knowledge that was provided to me by Babs and a call with Babs and Eva. And Repzilla knows the same details that I do, but um, I think the situation is SA, and um, she's not calling, Babs isn't calling it that, but I am. And it was like a crescendo of like, Repzilla, what would you call it? What would you? Uh, Repzilla and Edwin have done lesser things than what uh, or reported on lesser things than what Salvo and Edwin did, right? That, that's the Xylee take, and mixed with other BS and whatever. The Nick take is, Bab's story is described to be essay, but, but it's just an allegation, and if Edwin is innocent, he should have the right to be mad at uh, Babs. That's the, that's the difference. Nick is just literally, like, unbiased it's like oh what babs is describing sounds like essay even though she's saying it's not so but edwin could be innocent xylee is not saying that other part he's not like oh it's just an allegation right that's not what xylee's doing right i didn't know you went over it um no th that's fine i'm just saying like i play this in my um i played this in my video that i first made about this situation right um it's just, 
I've been de- dealing with this criticism, but like I feel like I feel like I, there's nothing to compare it to. Like I don't see how it's similar. Like can someone like baby talk me to how it's similar? Like because I don't see any similarities. It's just the the only thing similar is that they both agree what Babs describes is um or Babs's story is described as essay. That's like the only thing that they agree on. Nick is like, oh, if Edwin's innocent, he has a right to be upset. It's just an allegation, right? It, it, like not based in reality. Xylee says, I know all, I know everything. I know all the information and, you know, the math puzzles were adding up or the math was adding up in my head. The puzzles are put together. I just needed that one piece. Like she knows everything, right? That's, that's the difference, right? Um, I'm, I'm, my name's Bennett and I ain't in it. So. That was a fire bar. My name's in it, but I ain't. <laughs> my name's been in it, but I ain't in it. Zyla should start rapping. Uh, Ice Spice is canceled. She, she had like a fucking minor fucking twerk in her music video. Zyla should, Zyla's next up. I wonder Other if people can talk. okay. I wonder if the call she explains what that meant. Um, I don't know, but like she said on this stream here that uh, the extra info or the more info or whatever you want to put it uh, is already out there, right? So that was an interesting, interesting note. Talk about it. I'm not. So. Um, I will say, I will just, um, I'll go through the super chats. Well, actually, no, I guess I have to do. Okay, right, I'll skip through this part. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> All right. And I do mean this. Zyla, if you're here. I, d- I did mean this uh, super chat with all sincerity. I am glad she finally addressed it, okay? And not not the fucking BS of fucking pinned you co- YouTube comment, all right? I mean, like, how it is right now, okay? Thank you for the 49, Abby. Thank you for the 20. Look at me. Look at me, the cat fucking playing the guitar. Look at that. That's a nice screenshot right here. Uh, Mare Dragon, thank you for the 10. DJ Screwdriver. Thank you for the 5. You're welcome, Xylee. I like the cadence when she said it. All right. That made me smile, okay? Hearts for Xylee. Hearts, 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 hearts. And I... <laughs> this is fucking comical. Hold on. I go to you just this heart. I don't know. Maybe. I am interested to what Iko has, but, like, she said she's gonna, like, one-for-one one break down Edwin's points. Like, um, I don't know, I feel like Aiko won't admit, like, Babs's faults, like, he, she's just gonna be focus, uh, focusing on Edwin's faults, so I, 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 I just wanna, you know, I could be wrong, but I just want, like, I just want all the information out there, cause, like, you know, start the receipt war, let's go. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about Andrew Tate because, quite honestly, I think it would be, um, I don't know, a little disingenuous or weird or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, so she's not going to talk about Andrew Tate. So that's basically it. That's the Xylee stream. Um, okay. I'm not going to play this here, but if you want... Um, I'm just going to put this on the record. She 
I guess talked about it a little bit more today on the Peepaw stream that was uh, played this morning. Um, she got into a debate with um, the Milltown um, person that um, that I played his stream like weeks ago when they were talking about Siley. So I don't know. I, I don't think that was a good idea, but um, I don't want to break that down because like I just want to focus on like the good stuff on the stream. The good stuff is I'm glad she addressed it like on a live stream because, you know, I had a similar, um, I have a similar position that Abby Blackbird had like all those months back. If Siley was going to like spread um, bad information on a live stream, I think it would be better if she addressed it again on the live stream. That's just how I roll, you know, if you're going to. Do you, if you're gonna make a mistake in the same place, you should like, you know, have the same like audience that's gonna see it, not just a a tweet and a pinned YouTube comment. I also believe her uh, her comment wasn't um, wasn't tr uh, taking true accountability. This stream, even though it has its faults, she does admit she does admit she fucked up, and um, I guess I guess this is it for Zyli, like. I might, uh, like, if there's anything mentioned with Zyla, I might tangentially, like, mention her. But, like, as far as, like, or she, if she messes up again, maybe I'll talk about it. But, like, as far as this goes, like, I feel like this is over. Like, I feel like, hold on. Uh, <laughs> I feel like DJ Gets Real is over. Like, um, this is all I really wanted. Like, sure, I might not like Zyla, but, like, that's okay. I mean... I feel like I feel like this was a step in the right direction for Xylee, right? Instead of like steps backwards. Okay. <laughs> yeah, cat seven in the chat. Can we get some cat sevens? I love that. That should be the new meme. We're we're gonna like transition um out of the Xylee topics and we're just gonna be focusing on cat seven, alright? That <laughs> That's fucking funny. Um if you guys want, I I pinned the comment of um, my Discord. You can join Collins. We can have a last, the last DJ gets real panel. All right. Um. <laughs> um. But yeah. <laughs> oh man. The shit's been so funny, dude. Yeah, the get real thing is over. It was a fun arc, but, um, you know, I do appreciate the stream. I guess I'll give you, like, fucking two minutes to join the Collins, and if that, I'm, I'll be done, right? Um... Now, I hope anyone in Xylee's camp, whether it's Xylee or whoever, I am not a bad person. I'm not a bad faith actor. I just had opinions that Xylee fucked up and she should address it accordingly. Um, I've done my research, okay? So I don't want, I don't want, um, I don't want the finger being pointed at me. It's like, oh, you should have done research about me or whatever. I've done it, okay? I've done I watched the whole Edwin Edwin's a liar McLiar stream. I've done it all, okay? I I you know I've brought up receipts that are pro Zyli, I brought up receipts that are anti Zyli. I'm not a bad faith actor. I just had a bad opinion about Zyli. Like in your eyes, right? But I think it was valid, right? Yeah. All right, I'll drag you in, lady nerd artist. Hello, welcome to the DJ Gets Real panel. You're deafened. Hello. Not deafened, just mute. Okay, what's up? I don't know. I don't think this should be like the end of what she does because I'm sorry. She essentially called, like, yes, you know, the whole fun thing of sexual assault, rape. Those are essentially the same thing. To varying degrees of course semantics okay yeah 
But you can't just be like, oh, fuck you, you're a rapist. And then post a whole pity party of, what, 40 minutes? Roughly, yeah. Um, Again, I... The fact, the fact, the fact she addresses it, like I, again, I, I think well, is a step forward for Zaylee. She could have done it better, right? Of course, but um, but I feel like, like saying like I fucked up and I don't have agency anymore to talk about the Babs Edwin's the like Babs thing, I mean, right? It kind of feels cheap because she had from when she first made the stream and whenever her private call was, and she waited until almost August, like you said earlier, to do it. I think this is just a stunt for her to get ahead of people calling her out. I mean, people can... Pe you can have that opinion, right? Like, that's fine. But, like, I, I say, like, um... That, that's, like, speculation, and I don't want to... I don't want to look inside Zylie's, like, brain and, like, say, oh, this is the reason why she's acting like this, right? Okay. I, I, yeah. I, I'm using her words here and being like, oh... She, she does actually feel bad about the stream and like even though she like apologized privately now she's like um like saying like i fucked up right like she hasn't really done that before right all right well say you did something similar how long would it take for you to again like yeah i i said i would have if i said anything wrong about tiley i would have owned own up to it right and i would have done it much quicker than how Xylee did it. But that doesn't take away that, like, Xylee owned up to it, right? Like, I mean, finally, like, talked about it instead of, like, I guess, like, um, a pinned comment when she said, oh, I made a couple mistakes here, but um, I got too personal with this this section of the, of the stream. But there's a difference between getting too personal. And yeah, I, don't, I didn't like, I didn't like the YouTube comment, right? Camp. Of like, Babs is an innocent, sweet angel. Edwin raped her. Um, well, like yeah. Um, screen, I've seen Xylee get, like, we've all seen Xylee get emotional. Mm-hmm. But she's never been like, oh, you know, thrown huge accusations like this. When she does do huge ac accusations like this, she has stuff to back it up, like Salvo. She had her receipts and everything, to my knowledge. Yeah, um, I, again, like, I, I'm not, like, a fucking veteran Xylee listener. Like, I just watched the fucking, uh, stream she did on Edwin, right? And yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like the, um, the audience reaction, like, the general audience reaction of, like, Xylee didn't do that much wrong, she just worded it horribly, and uh, she she was trying to say the same thing as Nick, right? I disagree with that assessment. I I, I, I disagree with that general assessment, and like yeah. that's that's part of the reason why I made my videos because um, not just Zylie's mistake, but also like how people react to it. Um, mm -hmm. I, I I feel like it was necessary to criticize her to show people like, hey, no, that's not the case. Zylie did do something wrong, so I'm I'm glad like people. Um, or I'm glad Zylie took the actions to be like, hey, chat, I fucked up here. Uh, I, and again, it, it could have, like, she could have done this months ago, right? But, like, I'm just glad it's here now, right? Better I late mean, than it, never. Yeah, but it kind of felt like she was more going off on the tangent of, but guys, I'm admitting to it. You should forgive me. I mean, like, yeah, you can look into that because, like, she did have, like, a weird, like, take. Like, she had, like, a debate this morning with, like, Milltown and whatever. I don't want to play that. I don't want to play that here because, like, I again, I don't want to, like, I don't want to put bad lights on people. It's, like, a sensitive, like, topic and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So, so like, so you explain know. the tweet this morning. What was that? I said that does explain the tweet, because, like, Milltown posted earlier that he's going to be taking a break for a while. Yeah, that happened after the uh, the stream he did. But it's whatever, you know. Like, I don't want to, again, I don't want to focus on that that section. I, like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, a, I'm saying it's out there, right, for people to, like, dissect and whatever. But I don't want to be the one to do it, right? Um, okay. Because 
I don't think anyone looked good on that stream, to be honest. Um, I, I, except for maybe like Peepaw or whatever. I think he was fine. Yeah. But um, yeah, I I don't want to focus too much on that. Okay. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> she did apologize to the audience, so I guess I'm. I take. Yeah. I'm the one to accept the apology, right? It was, I don't accept. The only time I'll it accept was, it when. It was me the whole it. time that I needed. Damn the, it! I <laughs> yeah. Listen, Zylie, if you're listening, I will forgive you if you post a video of you committing scooter ankle. What's that? You know when you. You've never tried? Okay, so essentially committing scooter ankle is there used to be a trick to where you were supposed to jump over the little bar that your feet go on for the scooter. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people fucked it up and they ended up hitting their ankles with the scooter. Well, I, I, I don't wish any physical harm to fucking Xyli, but, you know, if she hot. if she wants to do, uh you know, scooter tricks, that's that will be cool, I guess. <laughs> All right. Only way I'll Zylie. Thank you for the call, Lady Nerdiris. I appreciate it. Have a good one, DJ. Bye. Well, chat, I guess that's it for the panel. Um, <sighs> you know, there's a, there's a little bit of relief because I, like, for myself, because I know it's over. I don't have to worry about the fucking Zylie sessions looking over my shoulder, right? I feel like this is it, all right? Cat seven. <laughs> oh. As far as it goes, it's over, all right? It's it's Joe over, all right? I feel like I feel like it's right to end the stream um, with one of the songs I played earlier. So let's end with my way, all right? Because at the end of the day. Well, I did the Xylee, I, I did the Xylee topic and I did it my way and I don't care if other people that are friendly with Xylee see me in a negative light. I just care that I was right the whole time. Okay. That's all I care about me being right. Well, I do appreciate the apologies, Ily, and I do appreciate you addressing it finally, okay? Thank you, chat, for staying with me with the Xylee Gets Real experience. This was... This was something, chat, and I'll play you out, alright? Goodbye, chat. <laughs>